This is the Altel X-Star Premium Drone. Premium because it's awesome. Need a website but want something that's easy and also elegant? Check out Squarespace. This is what we use for our store, epicpants.com. There's lots of templates here you can get started with, and you'll get a free domain if you sign up for a year. Speaking of domains, all you have to do is come here and you can grab your domain and get your website set up. You've got Git access, so you can control virtually everything. We use it for the commerce tools, but maybe you need it for a blog or you just want to have an artistic portfolio. Head over to squarespace.com slash crit TV for 14 free days, and you'll receive 10% off your first purchase. Check it out. Uh, we got this in to play around with, and I think we're going to end up using this for a lot of our future content, narrative content, running around outdoors, because the, the quality on this, right out of the box, in the automatic mode, really good colors, barely needs any uh, color correction once you throw it into your computer, uh, running on auto, so um, lasts about 20, 25 minutes, depending on the situation. I've seen a lot of different drones out there. There aren't many that are this color of orange, so let's just first start off with that very basic thing. When you're flying this around in the blue sky, or the white sky, or a far, foggy environment with Fergie. I sounded like the coach or whatever it is from Homestar Runner. Coach Z, hey! Our plain old coach is fine. You're gonna, you're gonna love the fact that it's orange, because it's like, well there it is! So I think all drones in the future should be orange, canary yellow, bright red, or something like this that will help it stand out from the environment. So hats off to Autel for that, number one. Number two, it's very easy to assemble. You just throw the different propellers on there. They threw a couple extra in the box in case you smack it into a wall or your leg like Hutch did the other day. <laughs> then we have a 4K camera on the bottom. The 4K camera will do 30 FPS at 4K, 60 at 2.5K, uh, it'll do 120 at 1080p, and 240 at 720p, which is nice. And as far as the quality of this 4K goes, well, the dynamic range is not extreme. It's actually not quite as good as uh, the Phantom 4, but the color and the sharpness do look a little bit better, in my opinion, than a lot of the DJI products. For a place like, you know, Portland, or Seattle, or Vancouver, or places that have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of fog, a lot of clouds, Czech Republic, some places in Germany, Switzerland, the, uh, Scotland. Have I named your place yet? Did you go, Wee! He said my thing in the comments! Woo! Norway. Hey everybody in Norway, Sweden, Finland, I say every country so everyone can be like, yeah, I heard my thing. Anyway, if you guys are flying it around in one of those places, you're probably going to really love the results because you're not going to have to worry about the dynamic range as much when you're dealing with clouds. Um, and, and everything's going to look nice and saturated and just full. So if you have somewhere that's really brightly lit or you have uh, very, I guess, large areas of gradation between black and white, well, you may notice that the dynamic range is somewhat lacking. Not quite cell phone range, but not quite SLR range. Now here is the thing that really makes this special. The entire gimbal on the bottom here easily snaps off. We have a three axis gimbal right here to keep it nice and stable, worked well. This entire thing comes off. Push on the side and there, there's your little gimbal. And in a few weeks, months, I don't know, Autel says that they're, they're actually gonna be making some replacement cameras for this. So if you wanna upgrade your quality, or, I mean, you can even just remove the camera entirely and fly it around. But that could be a huge way to upgrade. And uh, if you guys are thinking about making like a micro four thirds that shoots raw, I'll be first in line. I'll be so far first in line that I'll fall down the stairs trying to get to you guys. There's a ton of specs, like tons and tons of specs. Uh, maximum takeoff weight is 3.52 pounds or 1.6 kilograms. Now that's not quite as much as some of the, the fancy DJI's, but you know, that's what it needs to take off. We got our indication lights here, uh, very easy to, to operate using this giant controller. So let's talk about this for a minute. This is another thing that I think is quite cool. Hold to start here. You've got your takeoff and land button. Uh, we have a home button here and home is typically wherever you take off from so that you can just press home and it can return there. Uh, and you can pause the aircraft if you're going somewhere and you're like, oh no, it's gonna hit something. You hit pause, it's kind of interesting. Uh, the maximum speed is 35 miles an hour. The battery on this is 4,900 milliamp hours. And it, like I said, it only lasts like 20, 25 minutes, so it's not quite enough. I wish it lasted a little bit longer, but they're keeping the weight down. One thing that is nice about this in comparison to some, some of the other models, the case they give you, this really fancy schmancy case here, uh, it's got a nice cutout and you can support up to six batteries, six additional batteries. And this case right here, hmm, holding all kinds of things, look at me. 6,000 milliamp hour battery here. Now the battery charge times, I mean, we're talking like 30 minutes to an hour for this one, but this one takes a long time to charge, but 6,000 milliamp hours versus 4,900 milliamp hours. 
but still, this one takes quite a bit longer to charge. The operating frequency is 5.727 gigahertz to 5.8 gigahertz, and the video link frequency is 902 megahertz to 928 megahertz, and it will let you see uh, 720p video for you know 200 meters, 1.2 miles. So that's a nice long distance you can travel this thing. They recommend keeping it in sight, but there's a handy dandy screen right here. It shows you information about your, your drone, the yaw, the GPS, just all kinds of information is displayed here. So even if you lose sight, you can still control what's going on. It still gives you an, uh, you know, a decently accurate readout. It's really easy and it works with just about anything we've thrown at it. We threw all kinds of different phones at it. Samsung, OnePlus, um, you know, LG, all these different phones we threw at it, all Android. It was like, sure, you can just install the, the app and it works fine. And it also works via USB. So you don't have to worry about like trying to wirelessly connect it to anything. You plug it in from USB, when it plugs in, you can have it set up to, hey, as soon as it plugs in, app pops up and you're ready to go. So very easy. Uh, Hutch said he did have some issues, uh, you know, getting his Phantom to work with the OnePlus, but this one was completely seamless, worked great. Now, one thing we did notice is when we try to fly this thing around downtown, if there's lots of metal or lots of uh, antennas around, it did get lots of magnetic interference or GPS interference. So flying it around in busy areas, and get a bit frustrating because you'd always have like the oh, GPS signal lost, but as long as you have a, a line of sight on it, you can still usually control it. Sometimes you would just lose GPS or something else like that. Now we do have a few interesting flight modes. There's the orbit mode, which you know, like will fly a 360 around you. There's also the follow mode, uh, which we've seen on a lot of different cameras, but it's also kind of cool because it can follow you. If you don't have the right kind of GPS equipment, you may need to uh, have a GPS antenna so they can pinpoint onto you and follow, but most phones have that most. And uh, the other thing it does is it will do a waypoint mode, so you can set up waypoints and then, you know, have it reproduce that. So, pretty cool. As far as, you know, what you get for the money, this is about as good as it gets, in my opinion. I mean, really good picture quality, 4K, and just the ability to upgrade this in the future is what I'm extremely excited about. Pulling out the battery is really easy. God. Son of a... What? There, see? Pulling that out is very easy. All we need is a bigger battery and a new camera. And this will be like one of my favorite drones out there. And already as it is, we're gonna be using it a lot because it looks great. So for the money, not a lot out there that competes with it. If you know of something, let me know, but I don't think there really is much that competes with it. We'll see you guys in the comments. Let us know what you think and uh, feel free to send us ideas of things we can do with this and maybe we'll put it to use. After we already agreed to do a review on this, Altel contacted us again and said, hey, do you think uh, maybe your audience would be interested in a giveaway for one of these? So yeah, so this is not sponsored, but they just wanted to, you know, give one of these things to you guys. So go ahead and check out the link in the description. We're going to give one of these to somebody in the audience. So all the uh, list of different ways to enter is going to be down there in the comments. Good luck. Maybe you guys will be uh, flying your own little drone around with a 4K camera. Click on all the stuff over here. We got some new shirts coming in and uh, all kinds of fun things going on over there. So just click on those links and we'll see you guys in the comments. We ended up at the uh, Skyline Tavern because it's really difficult to find a place to, uh, to fly this around. Plus all this fog, good tree coverage in the back. I want to say a special thanks to these guys for letting us shoot here.